Warren and I met when we were 16. We were at Sixth Form College. He held the door open, our eyes met, and the rest is history. When we were 35 and buying a house, it seemed the right time to start um, a family. I went to check that I was in the best possible health and I was told that I had ovarian cancer. It was really devastating. They took away one ovary and my fallopian tube. And they said that it'd be very difficult to have children. The thought of that not happening just seemed incredibly cruel. And that's why it was such a delight when I um, conceived. Dylan James arrived two months early. He's the happiest I've ever been. And we knew how precious he was. He was just a real delight and brought so much joy to us as a whole family. <laughs> it just made everyone laugh and smile. And wherever he went, he left an impression. He could just light up a room. When he was two, Dylan James had a fever and his daddy said, his tummy feels really hard. We need to take him to A&E. A consultant said they were really concerned and that Dylan James would have to immediately go for a scan. And they just said he has a tumour on his kidney called Wilms tumour. That's the moment everything just stopped for us. They said, this is a curable cancer. This isn't a terminal diagnosis. He will have a 12 month high dose chemotherapy treatment plan and major surgery to remove the tumor. We were absolutely devastated. It was really difficult, but he was so brave and still carried on playing and was still smiling and all his scans were coming back clear. So everything was going really well. And then one day he announced, I've got a ghost in my tummy. And he had a scan and they said, it's progressed to stage four because the cancer's in his lungs. I said, just do whatever it takes, I can't, can't lose him. But they said, there's nothing else we can do. He's got two months. My heart was breaking in places that I didn't know it was possible. And I had to look at him and just smile because I didn't want to tell him. It's the hardest thing I've ever had to do. I was cuddling him and he just stopped breathing. There's nothing worse than watching your child's heart stop beating and yours carries on. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 40, 30, 20 or 10 pounds, text 40, 30, 20 or 10 to 70404 or donate online at channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.